Howdy folks, it's uh, Welcome Coffee and Tools and it's it's sort of like Hacker Monday. I had some different projects uh, ready and lined up for Monday, uh, hack jobs, and someone mentioned this. It was the idea of putting some kind of wheels on the workbench for, in this case, the, the uh, Windsor uh, work, woodworking bench from uh, Harbor Freight. And I had bought the, the wheel package, psh, wow, like six months ago and set it aside and thought, okay, we'll do a video on that one of these days. Well, when he mentioned it this morning, it was like, you know what, why don't we just do that and let's put, these, uh, let's put this wheel kit on this bench. When you have like a two car garage and things are tight, it's one of the best things you can do with your uh, tools, your workbenches and stuff, is to get them on wheels. And then you can sort of move the furniture around, <laughs> as they say, as you need it so that the man cave can be, you know, can, can continue to evolve. You know, so it's nice to have the wheels. So I bought this wheel kit. Now, not, oh, also before I move into this, don't forget, this Thursday we'll be drawing for the, uh, pl the planer, and then we'll be moving to another tool, which we will be, of course, drawing for as well. But anyways, this Thursday is a big draw for the planer. Just thought I'd mention that. If you don't know what's going on, you better check back that last episode, <laughs> 207, and have a look, you know, see what's going on. All right, meantime, Today, I'm gonna to put the wheels on the kit and just have a look and see if this wheel kit will work, which it should. Uh, I'm also gonna provide a link for the wheel kit uh, in the description below. I believe the listing on this one came off of eBay. Generally, I like to go with Amazon if I'm in a hurry or I need something quickly. If I have time and it's like, well, whatever it comes in, we'll, we'll, we'll do something with it, then I'll order from eBay because I find the prices there are in general are usually cheaper but the shipping time is horrendous, it's horrible at times. And it's like, well, if I can wait, I'd rather save the money. I'm cheap, you know. So anyways, what we did was that, and it came in, I set the wheel kit aside, just, it, had, it wasn't forgotten, but it was like, when we have time. So we've really, I've always been, we've always been under, under the gun for something. I finished my flooring uh, yesterday. Ah! Oh, yeah. So happy, so glad the, the hardwood flooring job, it's done, you know. Pergo world, as they, I think someone mentioned that too. But anyways, so let's do this. This kit is heavy when it comes to the box. And when you open the lid, it's kind of like, whoa, you know, like, man, that's a lot of stuff. But when you break it down, it's not that bad. And I've been told this kit will fit the Windsor uh, bench from Harbor Freight. So today we shouldn't have any trouble, but we're gonna find out. And you're gonna need some tools, of course, but it comes with everything you sorta of need, uh, except a uh, power driver, I guess, to drive some of these wood screws in, but just about everything else is pretty much a little hardware bag. Again, it looks kind of overwhelming, but it's not that bad. Ah, you know, no biggie. You've got four of these little uh, pieces here that you'll push down with your feet when you want to engage the wheels and, you know, pick the bench up kind of thing. This is the whole question right here. And this is where things get kind of interesting. I've actually got the, I think I'm holding that upside down. I think it goes on like that. <laughs> we'll find out. And when you mount this, it's got to be mounted an inch and a half off the floor. Well, if you look at a Windsor, the Windsor bench legs, at least on this one, I don't know if they're all the same or not, they probably are. It's got a little bit of a recess and it's the recess is just above an inch and a half so we should be okay and the part of the reason for that is the actual location because they give you a template to mount this with uh, the actual location actually shows 1.57 of an inch would be you know the best possible spot or something and we're probably somewhere around that 1.5 or 1.6 or whatever is because of the style of the bench so I'm gonna put them on the end of the bench, and like I said, we'll see how that goes. We'll do one leg, one corner, because the other three will be the same project or the same situation. But today, let's film at least one and get it installed and see if it even works. I think it will, but we're gonna find out. So here's the plan. We're on, we're on the floor. <laughs> wow. This is as low as you go. I put everything together loose, so the whole kit's just sort of uh, brought all the pieces down for one wheel. Now, this bracket has got six holes in it and you have six screws per bracket, so they're saying to use all six if you can. If you can't, that's all right. Now, here's what I'm talking about. 
this is a little over an inch and a half so I was thinking it might you know technically what you want to do is I you know on this bench just put it like that and that way you can kick the wheel down on each of four and walk this thing or you know move the bench around a little bit when you get to where you are you just lift it and they're saying an inch and a half and this is I've got a lip here so if I install this like this I should be okay but one of the things I want to do is pre-drill my holes for these six screws so we don't have to fight it too much because technically this is still it's a uh, it's hardwood it's a grade of hardwood from like Vietnam someplace I don't know what kind of hardwood that is I don't know if the guy in Vietnam knows either probably not but uh, so we're gonna put six screws in this but first drill them out and if you break your kit down to all the pieces you need per wheel the kit starts to look pretty good now be warned there's two bolts there's a short bolt and a long bolt and the long bolt is actually going to go on this chrome piece on the bottom the top short one is the one you want for up here which will you know support the uh this handle but anyways let's first thing let's get that in let's get that in get her in place so some people would use a template or a magic marker or something and dot 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 and then drill the holes uh, I'm gonna do a realist kind of uh, approach here and I'm gonna check these screws and it looks to me like about oh about 964 that's the size of drill bit that I like for that it leaves lots of meat for the screw to still bite but it makes a little bit of a pilot hole and I guess if you really wanted to get crazy you could probably what I've done in the past is do something like this I'll drill one hole out put the screw in and then drill the other holes out so that this is already held in place to where I want it centering is no problem because because the size of the bench it's almost like this kit was made for this bench but uh, I, <clears throat> I doubt it yeah it just so happens that that's that's what we've got here so let's start and Let's just do the first one. We'll just do the hole at the top in the center. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be deep enough. So, a little more. There we go. And now I'm going to drive this screw in <clears throat> with my, yeah, with the impact gun. And the screw strips almost immediately. So there's the first failure. And it just so happens that we have screws that are tougher than these. These are too soft for this bench. So let that be a lesson to you. Okay, so I've got, yeah, I've got lots of lots of hole there. So we're gonna go find some uh, better screws for this project apparently than the ones that they uh, give you in the kit because those are too soft. <clears throat> so we're back. Uh, apparently take the screws uh, that came with the kit and just throw them away now I just put this on here so you could have a look at uh, getting this in place but these are not the proper screws to be using so they're just held so I could get the holes drilled out because what I'm going to drive is probably these uh, Craig hardwood screws instead that's probably my best uh, option right now and the other reason I like the Craig screw is I've got a really nice long bit that I can get my machine back here to drive the screws in with so I don't have any interference because the short one I was hitting the bracket here a little bit so let's just drive a hardwood this is uh, for hardwood screw from Craig oh yeah that's <laughs> that's tight <laughs> that was tight Actually, about three of these will probably do the job of uh, <clears throat> six of those other ones that came in from China. So, yeah. yeah, those are really good. Matter of fact, we'll just do the other side. There we go. And then we'll drive the Craig screws in, and that way we got our head. Yep, there we go. Wow. That is, that is seriously on there, which which is all we really wanted so now the next thing to do would be to take your short bolt of the kit so check your check your two bolts and I can stand them up like this or something I'm trying to see if you guys can see that or not probably you want the short one which is going to go on the top 
and that's that's going to line up through here with this. So we're going to put the uh, short one through at the top. Again, this will doing this by yourself without uh, having a YouTube video sh to shoot with it probably take you a few minutes to do the whole project or something. <laughs> and then we have a nylox uh, nut which has a nylon insert in it to help the nut to lock on and stay locked on so it doesn't vibrate off or whatever in the future. And uh, normally I wouldn't do this but just for fun uh, I'm going to use the uh, wrenches that came with the kit. I'm just curious about I guess about these wrenches but yeah, uh, oh wow, okay. Well, it's kind of, oops, it's kind of different. Yeah, I can't say I've ever, well, different for sure. Yep, yeah. and, yeah, let's see if we can't. Yep, I guess we can. Yeah, so I'm going to uh, just tighten this up, and you don't want to tighten it up so much that there's a problem that it's binding or something, because really this is like acting like a pin. It's not acting like a nut and a bolt situation to hold anything together. There, there it's, that's almost kind of stiff. I don't want that any tighter, that's for sure. And the next one, same thing. I will put the long bolt through. Now this gets confusing. You want it like that. And we're gonna put this in the bottom, through the bottom bolt. And let's see if we can get that in there. Come on, baby. You can do this. There we go. And I forgot to bring a nut down for that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay, meantime, we'll go ahead and put the wheel on. And the wheel just goes on like that. And again, uh, they gave you a really weird wrench thing for this that will work on that too, I guess. Yeah, it will. So we'll put this big nut. Again, it's a nylock type uh, nut on the top. And I don't know if we can tighten with that. Maybe we can. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, wow, we cool. Probably could have put this part of the assembly together up on the workbench and just brought it down as being ready to just go ahead and mount. Because otherwise, I don't know. There wasn't a whole lot there. Okay, cool. Wow. Yep. This is a pretty interesting little kit. Let's see if we can. Yeah, that's tight. Okay. So there you go, the wheel's loose right now, the bench is at rest. But see, when I want my bench up, I haven't got the small nut back here with the with this, but it, it, this, this is good enough for demonstration. I'll just push it down with my hand and lock it like that. And now you can see the bench is around, I'm gonna say a good three quarters of an inch, almost a full inch off the floor, and it's locked. And you could walk, you know, if you had all four of them, you could walk the bench around to wherever you like, and then just release this to set the bench down, and that this just sits at rest at that point. So that's a pretty good kit. Okay, let's go back up top side and we can uh, talk about it from there. Wow, so we're up on top. Now, uh, don't tight, over tighten the bolts, the uh, these elongated bolts. Just need them kinda, you know, snug up, but not tight stupid, because obviously that's, you know, they're, they're, no, they're like a pin, they're not like bolting on. Hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. I hope you share, like, uh, and subscribe. In the meantime, you gotta do that four times, okay? So that was one, you gotta do four. When you get four done, your bench, you can roll your bench around in your shop, and that's great. It, it just makes life a whole lot easier in the man cave, you know, uh, uh, you can, can move stuff around, yeah, you know. <laughs> so, and you'll need, a, if you can get some uh, Craig uh, one inch, screws something like that for hardwood and uh, that way and you maybe have a one of the craig the long uh, robertson type or square head drivers on your impact gun or something it'll be a lot easier to drive those screws in but i would still pre-drill a small hole pilot hole before you drive the screws in and uh the wrenches that come with this crazy thing are well, they're not that bad i'll provide a link in the uh, description below for the kit if you're interested it will be an affiliated link to the channel, so you'll actually be helping to support my channel if you buy it through the link that we supply. Um, guys, wow, what an interesting, a lot of fun. Looking forward to Thursday for the draw. In the meantime, uh, I'm out of here. Hey, over and out.